Uh, can you be, be my dad? LOL, seriously, I think I need a mentor or something. Yes. Uh, uh, that's hilarious. Um, no, I cannot be your dad, but yes, I can be your mentor. And very soon after I'm done with all these questions, I will get into how I can be your mentor because I do want to cover that. I want to open it up for you guys so you can see the value that, that uh, you might get from my group coaching and my one-on-one -on -one coaching. I'm going to get to that soon. Um, I have problems with my gut. What can I do, please? Uh, actually, let me, re let me read a few of these questions and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer them all at the same time. Um, let me see. Let me see. Okay. Okay, cool, cool. All right. So, there, there, so there's still uh, uh, a, ton, a ton of questions. I'm going to cover them all. There's I don't know, a bunch of questions and no, no problem at all. Um, okay, let me read a few more, then I'm going to get back to you. Um, okay, let me see this. All right. So... I'm going to answer this next question, and then I'm going to tell you about the coaching because I want to get into that, and then I'm going to go back to the questions. Okay. The question is, I have I have problems with my gut. What can I do, please? Okay. So there's three things I always talk about: brain, balls, and belly. Belly is the gut. Belly is like your 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 gut, your 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 secondary brain, like your other brain. If you want to fix your gut, you have to fix your diet. That's it. Now how? You have to give it two things. One, you have to give it prebiotics. These are the things that help your stomach digest food. Two, you have to give it probiotics. This is what helps your intestines digest and absorb the nutrients of the food. Now, what has helped me the most? Most, 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 and this is a little expensive, is kombucha. Kombucha helps me like crazy. I drink one full bottle of kombucha almost every day. Now here in, in Stockholm, it's hard to get the kombucha I want and I don't want the bullshit kombucha that they have here. But the GT kombucha is what I drink once a day, generally when I'm in a city where I can actually access it. So that's one. Two, you have to eat fermented foods, fermented sauerkraut, uh, fermented cabbage, which is sauerkraut, or kimchi, which is a little bit spicy, dill pickle, which is fermented cucumbers, okay? You have to eat that. These are probiotics. Now, I don't recommend probiotic pills. I think these are bullshit, just marketing stuff or something. Fuck that. Eat real probiotics and eat real prebiotics. Also, super important, make sure that you are eating fiber to digest the food that you eat. A lot of people just drink juice, right? Green juice, fruit juice, no. If you are going to drink juice, have some fiber on the side with it. Because some people just love the taste of juice, as do I. But I prefer you do smoothies where you are getting the actual fiber from the plants and vegetables and fruits at the same time because that is good as a prebiotic. That helps your stomach digest all that food that is coming in, that fiber. So that is what I recommend. Another huge, huge thing you could do is have asparagus and broccoli every single day. Massive, massive prebiotics in both of these foods. So that's what I recommend for you. Now, other than that, you can take miso. I don't really do that. It's, it's fermented as well. If you are into eating soy, then you can eat tofu, which is fermented soy. You make sure you get a good organic brand. That's what I would recommend to fix your gut. Now, other than that, the gut has, as its residents, a lot of different neurotransmitters like serotonin, okay? And what you want to do is have cortisol low. You don't ever want to feel these stomach pains and these nervousness because that is going to affect your gut too, right? A lot of doctors won't tell you this. When I was in Colombia, I had, was visiting a holistic doctor, a naturopath, and he always told me, he's like, Farhan, the stress that you have, the anxiety that you have, the fact that you haven't forgiven yourself for the past, all of that is going to affect your gut. It's going to affect your health. And I believe you. So stress levels need to be now. Okay? Um, so let's do the next question. 